Hello everyone. So morning, it is still morning. It's only 20, 27 minutes past 11. So it's morning technically, some people. Um, haven't done one of these for a few days. Been busy uh, redoing my fireplace. So that went well. It's done. Um, so we're gonna carry on with some cooking. And um, today I'm gonna be cheating again because I still cannot get the bloody flour or most things really. We've got eggs now, but what's eggs without flour? So, so today I saw these and I, I like Cadbury's, so we're gonna do them. You ain't got to eat them, I have, so whatever. Um, going with the Cadbury's chocolate cookie. I know it is. It's not going to be a lot. Ten cookies, apparently. We'll see. So, um, I'll just get my stuff ready, and then, then we get started. Right, I'm ready if you are. I think I've got all my stuff here. Um, so, let's just point you down a bit, like that, to the mixing bowl, so you can see what's going on. So, firstly, uh, do you know what? I ain't got scissors. Get me some scissors to open our bag. Let's pop them on there. Put that into our mixing bowl. I have got my oven preheating to 180 degrees. side. Oh, it smells like Cadbury's. Oh, yes. Right, now we need 50 millilitres of vegetable oil, but I don't have vegetable oil. Um, I've only got sunflower oil, and I've only got a 100 millilitre um, measure cup. So, I'm just gonna try and guesstimate. It always tastes better when you guesstimate. About half. So here we go. Bit more. I don't wanna overdo it. No, it's come out too fast because I probably put too much in. I say we're getting there. I'd say that's about 50 mils ish. So that's going to go in. And then we want 45 millilitres of semi skimmed milk, which I have measured out, which is a pathetic little amount, but we might have to add in a bit more, apparently. So let's mix that all together. Just a splash, a tiny little splash more milk. There we go, and then uh, I'll give that another mix quickly. That's looking better. That's looking much better. It's all meant to stick together, and it wasn't. There we go. Right, on to the next bit. Right, now, I need to roll them into balls. 35 gram balls, apparently. What does 35 grams look like? Probably not very big, I wouldn't imagine. Guessing it's something like that. I do 
some bigger than others. Why not? Change it up a bit. It doesn't roll very easy, I tell you, it's crumbly. So I'll carry on doing this off camera because it's going to take me a while and uh, I'll show you before they go in the oven. Right, we're back. I've decided to double baking tray because I don't know how much they're going to spread out in all honesty. But there's me uh, cooking dough balls. I've just got to flatten them out slightly. Right, so I'm hoping they'll probably come out this sort of size if that's the case. And we'll go with, uh, oh no, we'll keep them on two trays, I think. It'll be easier. Just flatten them out as much as we can. Some are, like I say, some are bigger than others here. But I don't really care, as long as they taste good. There's one more. Flattened out. Let's bring the other lot in. These ones are probably a little bit smaller, but they're probably flattened out quite nice. Keep sticking to the back of my spoon. It's a lot harder than you think rolling these into balls, I've got to say. I don't know how they're going to come out. Probably quite crumbly, I'd imagine. Right, so they're ready to go in the oven. We're gonna put them in for about 12 minutes, as it says on the box. Put the timer on for 12 minutes. And then uh, we'll come back and it says I've got to take them out and tap them. Okay. Um, yeah, so see you in 12 minutes. Right, so we're nearing the time for tapping. Um, by my calculations, the bleepers, there you go, the bleepers gone off. So let's get our oven glove on. They are looking good. Look at them bad boys. Right, apparently I've got to tap them on the counter. Don't know what that does, but... Just makes a lot of noise. You know what I'm well, they've been tapped, I guess. And then they've got to go in for another two minutes. And then uh, we'll put them on a cooling rack. See you in a sec. Okay, bleep's going off for the second time. So we'll uh, turn the oven off. Get both of these trays out. I'm glad I put them on two trays. There is a little one on there though. So we've just got to leave them to one side for a couple of minutes. Just before we put them onto the uh, wire rack. Um, so yeah, I'll just give them a couple more minutes just to sit there and then uh, we'll finish them off. Okay, right. So, I can start transferring these to the old wire rack now. Look at that, look. It did say that they'd make 10, but I've managed to sort of make Ten decent sized ones and one small one. So let's just get them on there. Oh, that's a big one, look. That's what she said. I will show you these, don't worry, don't worry.
the eleventh one is for me to eat now. Crispy on the outside and just magical on the inside. So, That's all from me today. Um, so it is only a quickish one, I guess. Um, I'll come up with some more stuff to cook for you. And then, um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Take care.